I'm Sir Tap Tap Nuts, that Abyssrium update time again. Now, as always, some people got the update early, a lot of people didn't. Um, I would wait at least two or three days, uh, maybe even up to a week before you panic too much. This update is supposed to be out first week of August, which is still five days from now. So uh, it's probably not too unusual that, you know, a lot of people don't have it yet. Um, so the theme for our current event is the one year anniversary of Abyssrium. A good reason to have an event. Uh, I'm not the hugest fan of most of the fish from this event. And even more importantly, I'm not a fan of certain other aspect, but uh, let's just go down the fish list first, shall we? So we've got the Cake Slice Gobi and the Balloon Clownfish. I'm really glad they have two 300 candy fish this time because there's always some fish that requires, you know, get 60 of the event fish right there. Uh, and there's only one fish usually that is like the lowest price. And so that just ends up with you having like 500 of, it's usually an angel fish. So this helps spread out the pain just a little bit. Um, the cake grouper is a little bit more expensive. You own, own three cake goby. There's only four hidden fish in here. Uh, so most of these are pretty, you can just see the requirements from the get go. So you've got the cake goby, the balloon clownfish, who's kind of cute if ridiculous. The cake grouper, who's just literally the the Valentine's pink grouper, but with a piece of cake on it. Uh, th some of these are a little bit. Hmm. The party blowfish, which he's got a little one of those noise blower things. What do you call those anyway? But uh, yeah, he's got one of those. He's just having a good time. The Afro Mirror Ballfish is pretty ridiculous. He's got a nice little disco ball hanging off his head. Uh, the Cake Cuttlefish I actually kind of like. I'm not a huge fan of the Cake Fish in general, but uh, the Cake Cuttlefish in particular uh, just has a lot more work put into it. It's got... It's just so dense. There's a lot going on. There's, a, there's an Oreo on his head. He's got whatever kind of like candy stripe fins. He's got a little dollop of goodness on his head there. You know, there's, there's more going on than most of them. Uh, there's the Candle Seahorse, who's just a candle. I kind of like the Candle Seahorse because of the ethereal flame that burns on its head underwater. Beautiful. Uh, the Dress Dumbo Octopus. Uh, that's a hidden fish, actually. So, oh yeah. Um, I'll go over the hidden fish after this, actually, because there's two I don't have yet. The Dress Dumbo Octopus, which... On its own is ridiculous, but at least it's different from the other ones. At least it, there's some variety. I'm okay with that one. The Jello Fish is probably my favorite of the uh, the uh, the free ones. It's it's a flan. It's a jelly. It's a jellyfish. It's a Jello fish. Fish. It's yeah. That's that's Neptune's favorite fish right there. There's the Party Blow My My. Is that what they're called? I can't imagine. That's that's like that's that's English tier words. But yeah, there's the, the Mai Mai with a little party hat and a little horn tutor go boo. You know. The Tuxedo Dolphin, who has <laughs> got a little cocktail on his head. Excellent waiter. Even if your party is underwater, it's he's still great. And the Cake Turtle, who as far as the cake ones go, I think the Cake Turtle is okay. I mean, turtles are roughly cake-shaped to begin with. There's the Party Sunfish, uh, who is a thousand, um, th these prices, by the way, once you get to the, the sunfish, the prices get bonkers. So the party sunfish is 10,000 candies, or they're cake slices, but I always call them all candy. Um, the balloon whale shark, which always cute and is a nice unusual shade of yellow now, uh, is 1,000, 15,000. Uh, usually the whale is at most 10,000, and I complained that the whales were 10,000. Um, but yeah, and then the cake whale, who looks terrible by the way, um, is 20,000! And that's not even the worst part. That's Somebody ran the numbers, and this event costs, uh, to get all of the, if you want one of each of the things, this event costs 220,000 cake slices, or candies, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the most expensive previous one was about a hundred thousand. I stored up a hundred thousand uh, event pieces 
from the last one and thought I would be good. I would be able to buy everything. Nope. Nope. Because what, what happens is there's baby fish now. And they're actually pretty cute. Uh, I'll t let you take a look at it here. Um, it's kind of a mix of the farm feature here with uh, with the event, which I can't blame it for trying. But what it does is, for one thing, there's no benefit to it other than just getting the fish. There's no, unlike other fusion fish, it doesn't increase your vitality at all. Um, but in addition, the one-year-old sunfish, you have to buy five party sunfish. That's 50,000 of the stupid, the cake slices. That's, that's as much as the entire uh, Halloween event. It's more than the entire Halloween event, actually, I think. Uh, just for the, just to get this one fish. Then you have to do that again with the whale shark. And the real kick in the teeth is, let me show you. The real kick in the teeth is that when you get all the whale sharks, you don't get a cute baby whale shark. You get a cute baby orca. Which, I mean, is nice. But the whale shark is my favorite fish in this game. And I, I thought we were going to get baby whale shark. We, we do not. Why are your paws wet? You're gross. I'm sorry, my cat. He drinks with his feet and is gross. Um, then if you get 10 of the whales, you get baby sperm whale, which sperm whale is right because I mean, look at the, 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 the cake whale is, is inappropriate. You have to pet, you have to spend 20,000 candies and buy five of these. So a hundred thousand total just for, you know, a whale that looks like it's been through unfortunate situations and, uh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the premium fish is is paid. This is ten dollars, I think. Uh, congratulating Corgi, which is a pretty clear piggyback off of their scuba rabbit. But yeah, it was it was a good idea. So this guy's ten bucks, and if you pay that, you double you double the uh, the cake drops for the this current event only. Uh, so let's go through the hidden fish. So first, you've got the balloon blue tang. So for this one, you need to watch 15 cake ads in the uh, in the event menu. Just at the top here, you get 50 free cake. It's not really worth it if you have Song of the Moon, but if you you obviously want to get the hidden fish, so you need to watch 15 of those. Just keep watching until you get it. Uh, there's also the Afro mirror ball fish. I love how they call it mirror ball. It's disco ball, but you got to tap the upper right corner 200 times during Song of the Moon. And if you have, usually for these unlocks, they require lots of tapping. If you have minus tap, what you'll probably need to do is hold one finger so the minus tap is going on that finger, and then tap with your other fingers on the upper right corner. Uh, I just had somebody confirm that that's what they had to do to get the uh, the narwhal. So I assume that's how that one works too. Uh, another hidden fish is the dress Dumbo Octopus. You have to wear the candle hat and create a candle seahorse. If you've already made a candle seahorse, you've just got to put on that candle hat and uh, make a seahorse. It's not too complicated. The dolphin, you have to share three pictures of the dress Dumbo octopus. And I think during the first anniversary night, I think that means you need the, um, the theme items. So there's theme items like always. There's the candle hat, which you need. Just just buy these right away and equip them. Uh, that's my advice for any event. There's always some hidden fish requirement that relates to these items. So, and they're pretty cheap. They're like, it's only like 2,000 total, which is 1% of the total cost to complete this event. Less than 1% actually. So just get them. Um, yeah, the first anniversary night is the, uh, the theme here, which has this lovely whale here. I, I saw a screenshot of this, and I thought we were getting that beautiful, like, starry night whale. And I thought we were going to have those floating around the tank. I was excited for that, and it turns out we get, you know... Uh, yeah, that's those are the hidden fish. Um, oh, there's actually three more sort of hidden-ish fish. So the baby fish are hidden by default. You to, to unlock the ability to make the sunfish, the baby sunfish, you need five party sunfish. You need five uh, of the balloon, uh, this guy, the balloon whale sharks for the baby orca, who is not a shark, uh, and is a whale, so we'll split the difference there. Um, and you need five of the whales that cost 20,000 to make this thing. 
The good news is that you will have extras. By the time you unlock them, you'll have extras to spawn them. Like any fusion fish, they require two, but they only cost one. So what that means is basically you can't consume your last party hat sunfish to make a baby sunfish. And once you unlock it, you'll have five sunfish to immediately convert. Um, I, I think the problem with the, this event is pretty clear. Uh, I think what they should do is... I think what they should do is make it hard to complete, but easy to make repeats. I really liked the Halloween event for that, actually. The Halloween event, the whale maxed out at 2,000 candies. It was so cheap. I actually remember complaining that it was expensive at the time. Boy, was I wrong, because we're literally 10 times the amount now. Um, and... Yeah, but the, the, the way it should work is that they, it should cost more to unlock the whale. Like, there should be some fairly high requirements to unlock it in the first place. But then, once you unlock it, it should be cheap to keep making more. That's what I liked about the Halloween event. Um, and the, obviously, the main problem with these baby things, they should just require two. Just require two, and then you make one. And it's... Requiring five is ridiculous and super expensive. Um, and... All in all, this is... I, I'm really glad events are back. I think they need to do more events. Personally, I think an event every two months is the best pace for this game. But uh, this event... Not the biggest fan for assorted reasons. I don't think... I, I think some of the fish are just overall kind of silly. I think the price is really the main problem. Um, oh, and let me show you where you can get that corgi. The corgi is in... Uh... He's in the shop. The fish are in the gems tab now. Congratulations, Cor Corgi and Cake Doubles. So that what that means is you'll get you'll get the Corgi and you buy the Corgi with Vitality. Um, you can buy as many as you want. Any premium fish you can buy with Vitality and it will stay through the duration, uh, even if the event ends. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, the the Mola Mola Legendary Sunfish is back. Uh, it's probably a limited time thing, so you want to get it as soon as possible. Uh, the legendary Mola Mola, it's an event fish. It's this buddy. Uh, you need to tap Sunfish Vitality 100 times. So I think that's only real, like, normal fish Sunfish. So you gotta get... Uh, where is he? This guy. You gotta put these out there. Tap the little heart that appears over their head. I think the candy still applies, because somebody reported getting it, so it's confirmed to... You can unlock it now. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you need to use real sunfish. I don't think the event sunfish count for it, oddly enough. But So that's that's cool. And if it, this is your first event since it's been a while, the best way to earn the candies is you need Song of the Moon, because Song of the Moon... Ah, it just ran out. Uh, Song of the Moon multiplies by whatever your Song of the Moon multiplier. That's how many more candies you're going to get per click. And if you have if you have Spirit of Life, which you can get free ten minutes every day, with the whole daily mission thing, uh, it seems grindy. And I would recommend an auto tapper for the the finger warm up one because that's just awful. But uh, the daily mission does really help a lot because the the pearls by craters and uh, the ten minutes uh, what's it called Spirit of Life is pretty good. But yeah, with with level 21 Song of the Moon and Spirit of Life active, I get 50 candy or 50 cakes for each click on the, vital the fish vitality. Uh, and also to, to make it more efficient, what I usually do is I store all my fish. I pull out four jellyfish. Fortunately, there's an event jelly, so you can keep it kind of themed. And uh, what that just lets me do is kind of click around here and uh, grab all the the cake they offer without uh the, the reason we use jellyfish is they don't move around too much i say as they spasm like they need to be taken to the hospital and some of the fish in this event i think they're they're bugged or something because their animations play like they're just going to town like they really need they really need to calm down we should need to get some horse tranquilizers in this cake to calm them down anyway that's pretty much all there is for this event um I don't have all of the fish yet. I'll have a video later once I actually get all of the fish. Uh, just to, you know, a little exhibition thing to show them all off. Uh, like I said, expect to get the, the event, you know, a few days after you see the very first reports of this. 
Um, huge thanks to people on Reddit and a couple of commenters on my guide. Uh, we we solved all of the hidden fish in record time here. So that's that's pretty cool. I do oh one other complaint about this event. Uh, sorry to be so grouchy, but they kind of showed too much of this event, in my opinion. They they kind of showed like I think they showed over ten different fish. Um, I'm glad that we knew in advance it was coming, but I kind of do like the surprise in addition. So like, if maybe they showed like a fourth, you know, just a teaser. They they gotta learn what a teaser is. Just tease us with just a few. Just give us just enough to guess the theme, and then we'll kind of be like, oh, I wonder what the other stuff is. It's it's not as fun if we just immediately see everything and we just know what we're gonna get. At least in my opinion, I like the whole discovery thing, which is over faster and faster as they keep revealing more and more but i'm glad events are back i'm not going to complain too much i just i think this is a little bit excessive in terms of how long it'll take to get all the stuff uh, i do recommend an auto clicker frankly um i use nox app player just, just google sir tap tap nox app player i have a video showing you how to use it uh, it's very simple to set up a little click macro and then you just let it click basically like this and get your candies overnight and you just some people also have there's also apps for your actual phone um, those require root I think on your phone like on Android and I don't think they work on iOS so I don't know too much about those but those are also an option but yeah that's the event um, happy collecting everybody I hope we keep getting more events, but I hope they're a little bit cheaper than this one. And I hope they're a little bit more inspired. I said on Reddit, uh, I think a really cool idea for an event would be like prehistoric fish. Because like, obviously we're not being too realistic here. We've got, you know, skeleton whales. Honestly, I think the first event was kind of the coolest. Uh, I liked, I like some fish from every event. Like, the Valentine's event was pretty dumb in my opinion. But I like the pink whale shark, the little bow there. That's like just enough, and the, the I like, really like the pink jellyfish. It just it's just a normal fish. I kind of like that in the Halloween event and the Christmas one. A lot of these are just actual animals, and it's just you know happy little goblin shark there, little penguin. I kind of like where they just intermixed some just regular fish that were, if anything, only vaguely Halloween adjacent. Yeah, that's the event. I <laughs> hope everybody can actually complete it. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know if they would patch it if people complain a lot. Uh, I hope they do, but I it would be a first, so I'm not going to expect it. I'm just going to expect it to be a problem. <laughs> but, oh well. They don't listen to me, so maybe they'll listen to you. Oh, just a quick shout out. I uh, I did on my website. I have made goals on my Patreon, which is a thing where basically you can donate uh, optionally every month to help a creator towards a goal. Um, I set up goals so that every roughly every 100 bucks that makes per month, I'm gonna remove ads on my site. So eventually, we can be ad free. It'll it'll cost a bit to get there, but we're only like we're less than. I think we're about $15 away from the removing one-fourth of ads. Then at another 100, we get we get rid of half of the ads total. And then the problem with ads is that it's like once I get more popular, the ads income more. And it's like I don't want to dedicate myself too much. But I'll run the calculations as soon as we get the current goals met. I'll run the calculations to see what we need to do to totally remove the ads. I'm not a big fan of ads, but... They do keep the server running for right now. But uh, the patron link is just patreon.com slash sirtaptap. There'll be a link in the description. There's always relevant links in the descriptions. Uh, there's, a, there's my written guide too in the description if you missed anything. As always, thanks for watching.